all right welcome guys to this um new video um i did it part one of this video and there's a part two so i'm going to leave the part one on the, on, in the description below um the part one talks about the uh, retouching of the face how i retouch the face you want to know how that's the um, what the part one is all about then the part two is um how i got to clean up um the the clothes so this is before this is before and this is the after so i'm going to leave the link to those video in the description below so do well to check it out if you haven't seen it yet so in this video we're going to we're going to work on the background we're going to make it um, um a lot more smoother than it is right now so i used a seamless paper backdrop for for this shoot and as you can see there are a little bit of wrinkles and some um foot, foot maps on the on the backdrop so we're going to get rid of that in a moment so um if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit the subscribe button and then give me a thumbs up if you like this video and then um give me a, leave me a comment in the comment section let me know let let me i want to know your thoughts or maybe a better way to do this or some other video that you'd like me to do all right so um i'm going to um merge all of this layer into one layer first of all so i'm going to hold shift control then alt key and then i'm going to press e to make that happen so one of the things i'm going to do is that i'm going to get rid of this hand right here so i'm going to hold my marquee to my rectangular marquee to i'm going to press m shortcut and then i'm going to circle around i'm going to press ctrl t to transform i'm going to hold down my shift key and then i'm going to drag that's simple all right so we have it um we have that taken care of so i'm going to crop my my image to four by five using the ratio four by five um that's the ins instagram instagram ratio I'm, I'm, so i'm going to press c for my um crop two i'm going to increase the size yeah like so all right i think this is fine this is just fine so i'm going to make sure my content are well content are well is checked now the reason being that um i want um, photoshop to automatically fill this part this um node color part for me all right so that's why i'm checking my my i have my content a bit too checked so i'm going to increase just a bit to give it some headroom so i'm going to click on okay so i'm, I'm going to wait to allow photoshop do its job this is an amazing tool in photoshop you don't really have to you know do it yourself all right so let's um wait a minute um depending on how fast my system your system is it can take shorter time for it to happen all right okay wow this is amazing like the result is so so amazing all right so um now i'm going to take care of this part right here so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to select the subject i'm going to crop out the subject from from the image itself so now photoshop has an amazing tool that can make this happen so um there's this object selection tool so all you have to do is just just give photoshop an a approximate i mistakenly did that sorry for that um so so all you have to do is just give photoshop an a approximate selection of of you know the tool or you can hover around the image and then photoshop you know gives you um a selection and then click on it to have your to have your selection so uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to happen and then you see how amazing this tool is or rather you can go to um the select subject tab and then you you have it up so i have i, I mean photoshop did an amazing job right here so the only thing i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to include the shadows to, to it right so when i'm cleaning the backdrop i don't want it to look all so i'm going to include this include this part to it all right so i'm going to circle out i'm going to circle out this part all right so just include some bit of shadows to it okay i think here yeah. so i'm going to include um this part maybe it's too much i'm gonna hold my alt key to subtract that selection all right so i think this is fine with me so i'm going to right click then select layer via cut so i have my my um, image selected from 
away from the background so i'm going to hold my my mixer brush too very handy too so i'm going to increase the size then i'm going to start you know straighten out those parts that needs straightening all right so let's so let's get rid of this foot mark here now you don't have to worry about the about the image because i already done the selection away so let's see how well i am doing now there are other ways to make this happen all right there are other ways to make this happen whichever one works best for you um, i think that's fine so um let's see what we've done so far so this um before so we're gonna see what we've done so far um, all right so as you can see the now i i don't want the the background to be all plain all right i i love the shadows i'm seeing here i love the it gives the image some kind of depth all right but if it's all plain uh, the uniform colors everywhere it doesn't really um comes alive to me so um i think i have this taken care of all right so let me show you before let me go to my history brush let me show you before okay let me move further away all right so this is a this is a before and this is a after all right amazing difference amazing difference so I, i'm still going to do some jobs some little cleanup around the this part so um this is i mean just i and you know what's amazing about this technique is that you can add texture to your background if you want to if you want to maybe i'm going to do a video another video for for that so you can add texture maybe a, a, a canvas backdrop texture to your image to make it um um way better than it is right now so i think i'm done with this so amazing amazing i love the outcome so so easy so you know this the first part like i said we we had a face cleaned up the second part the clothes and the third part the backdrop thank you so much guys for watching this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think and then what you would like me to do in the next video thank you so much stay blessed bye bye